and welcome back to the 100% opinionated review of the Byzantines in Age of Empires 2, as they are a defensive civilization. That's a pretty good definition of them. So let's start with their economy here. To be honest, I have played a fair bit with this civilization, but not a lot. It's not like hardcore Byzantine, yeah, bring back the Byzantine Empire, although sort of in favor of that. We won't get into that yet. Alright, they have a good economy. They have a good, yeah, just all-around economy. Absolutely solid. That's great. The university, however, is surprisingly trash. As they don't get masonry, they don't get architecture, they don't get siege engineers, and they do not get treadmill crane, which makes them very education wise uneducated. But they do get chemistry, bombard towers, and everything else that goes along. And they don't get heat shock. So don't put these guys by the water, or you're gonna get bombard cannon or cannon galleon, whatever, by the Spanish. The blacksmith. Solid. They're missing Blast Furnace. Not a big deal, in my opinion. The Siege Workshop. No Heavy Scorpion. No one cares about Scorpions. And having only Onagers is just fine. Their Castle. They don't get Sappers. Not a huge deal. No one actually cares about that tech. Unless they're trolling around. And their Monks. One of the better ones. They get everything except Herbal Medicine. Which helps garrison units. Not a big deal for missing that. As they get redemption and everything else to make their monks as annoying as ever. Their navy is actually one of the better ones. As they get everything. Literally everything. So. That's a redeeming factor there. Their cav. Pretty solid. They don't get bloodlines. But they do get hush, hush bandry. So, a good stable. Their barracks. They get pretty much everything except the obvious Eagle Scout. Eagle Warriors. So, again, really solid. And then their archery range. They get everything except Parthian Tactics. Again, really solid. So, let's look at their special parts of it. Their buildings, plus 10 HP in Dark, 20 in Feudal, 30 in Castle, 40 in Imperial. So, along with, I believe, no, okay, they don't get that, but how much do these give again? Uh, 10% more hit points, 10%. So it easily makes up for those university techs that they are lacking for a total of 30, 60, 100 percent on all their buildings. So you're gonna have to spend a little more siege to take these guys down. Camels, skirmishers, pikemen, albertiers cost 25 percent less. Along with all those being really solid, you get to save on them as well. Fire ships. 20% more attack. That's actually really good. And it makes uh, makes sense for them to have good fire ships. Like, advancing to the Imperial Age costs 33% less. Again, a really good thing. And Tower Watch, Town Watch Free. As mediocre as that is, that's something, I guess. That's the one okay thing in all of that. Let's be honest. The unique unit, of course, is the famous, or if you're Turkish, the infamous Cataphract. Very good cavalry unit. They are on the more expensive side, from what I remember. Yeah, a little bit. 70 food, 75 gold. But overall, they are well worth it, in my opinion. As you can just get an army of cataphracts and maul over your opponents, including the Turks. Oh man, they don't stand a chance with their Janissaries. The cataphracts are just too overpowered for that. 
and their unique techs, Greek Fire, of course. Fire ships plus one range, which makes their fire ships even better. And Logistica, cataphracts cause trample damage. So now their cataphracts are even more overpowered and can take down those Janissaries even quicker. All right, moving on to the team bonus. Monks plus 50 heal speed. So now they can just heal their allies in half the time. And that makes it even more obnoxious to be against the Byzantines. And makes it even more of a blessing to be on their side. Now, for the overall rating. I really don't have it. See, very few problems with this civilization. Oh, they don't get treadmill crane. Yeah, but if they actually get all their stuff up. They can build castles. And even if they don't have heated shot, they can build fire ships, overpowered fire ships at that, to protect their village anyhow. So you're going to want to make sure they don't build anything, basically. Like, there literally is no problem with the civilization. No big gaping problems. There's not much to exploit, except maybe the fact that they can't build as fast and they don't have heated shot. So, they're not a perfect civilization by no means. They're not exactly overpowered, but they can definitely be one of the top civs, in my opinion. So, they're going to get the highest rating I've given to this point, an A. And the only reason they don't get an A-plus is because they don't have Treadmill Crane and Heated Shot. So, if you're not playing on a naval map like Black Forest, Heated Shot, who cares? They're good. Treadmill Crane, however, is a big loss. Bloodlines, not a huge deal. So, a very, 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 very good civilization... Not an A-plus, unfortunately. I don't know if anyone's getting an A-plus from me. Because I'm that guy who will not give you an A-plus. You'll get an A, but you're not going to get an A-plus. Because that's basically you're perfect at that point. Unless I feel meme-worthy. But I'll see you next time when I'm moving on to the next civilization, which will be the Celts. I'll see you then. Subscribe, like, comment, share, bell button, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Nice.